Hey, Chris. Hey, hey. How are you doing? Very well, thanks, Nick. Um, yeah. Oberheim week here on Sonic State, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Obviously, TO video out there in the wild now, sounding brilliant. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. But and here at Gearfest, yeah, we've got another little Oberheim update as well to perhaps talk about. Yeah. Um, and that's the uh, version 2.0 firmware for the OBX8, which uh, brings some really quite interesting kind of things in there, um, including a brand new filter. Which, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. What? It's an analog filter as well. Uh, so basically, um, yeah, there's quite a few things in here. But if we go to uh, the page two stuff, and uh, now let me see if I can find it. With might have to take my glasses off to find this one. But if we go, ah, we got filter type. So previously we had six different filter types, including a couple of uh, two pole, uh, sem again high pass, band pass. Notch, my favorite. Um, and then into the OBXA and the OB8, uh, two pole low pass, and then the four pole low pass. Um, and those were the video, uh, those were the, um, the filters that were already in there. But now if we switch to the new one, we have modified four pole low pass. Okay. And basically what's going on there is it's, um, it's base compensating on the, on the filter. So it's a really clever system. Of course, you know, it's analog electronics in there providing the filter, but actually with a digital management system, we can do all sorts of gain compensation there. Ah, so okay. yeah. So it's not FPGA, FGP, F no, it's not um, that. I mean, in terms of the digital chip, I'm, I'm not 100% certain, to be honest with you. Um, we'd have to refer to our Oberheim chums in San Francisco about that. But what I do know is that it's kind of a clever way of basically managing the, um, yeah, basically managing the gain on right, there. Okay. Uh, so that we get a full kind of full range low pass so that's the uh, the standard and if I take the, the there you yeah. go you've got all the full range there and then you bring it in and of course lose a bit of that low lose, end yeah and then if we do the same thing now on the modified so yep has a slightly so different quality to it as yeah, well. The absolutely, resonance is different, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So I mean, of course, that's one of the really great things about the OBX8 is it's not just a fixed filter architecture. You've got a lot of choices, and basically, it's kind of it's all the greatest hits from all the OB range uh, from the eight from the early 80s, um, including a brand new one as well, which is is quite nice. So that's one thing that's in there. Um, other things are as well. Now, if I go to my uh, let's see, go back to a. Oh, hang on. He's done that thing again of where, where is it? It's right in page two. No, it's not that one. I should there we you, go. Yeah. <laughs> we should Stop. add you. You're not, you're not yeah. the, the, the version two expert. <laughs> it hasn't been there for a while. Oh, no, it? absolutely. So this is, yeah, this has come out recently and I put this on there this morning. So um, I'm kind of getting to grips with it. So, you know, I'm kind of getting to grips with it. But that was the, um, that was putting it back to the basic program. So it's the stand on, stand on one leg, put your hand on your head and then pat your belly kind of. Thing to, to, in it patch. Yeah, to get the in it patch. So anyway, um, what was I going to talk? I was going to talk about the oscillators as well. So before we had the saw or the pulse, nope, or we had the triangle, um, and you could combine the saw and the pulse, uh, but you couldn't necessarily bring the triangle in there now. But now, if you press and hold, um, press and hold one of the pads or the buttons. We've now got the triangle saw and pulse. Ah, right. So, so it's just opening up that little combination of the of the oscillator sounds there. So yeah. So that, again, a nice little practical thing. And you, you now you can combine pulse and triangle, which you couldn't do before. You can combine saw and triangle, which you couldn't do before. We can have just triangle on its own, or if you press them both, and then then that's saw and pulse now. But if I hold it down, right. they start flashing. So it's just a bit of mouth. I so honestly, one thing I'm, I'm sort of salivating at the size of the buttons. It's just so rare to <laughs> see a button of, of <laughs> such magnitude. There, even with these ham fists, you can, you can, you know, it's quite accurate. You know, that's one of the things about the X8, isn't it? I mean, it, it's a big synthesizer, and you know, I could, I can actually literally put my fist in between these pots. You can't do that on a lot of synthesizers these days, so that's quite nice. So yeah, so um, yeah, so that's uh, one of the other kind of really kind of sort of big sound production things. Um, also, we've got a couple more things going into the page two now, whereas I've, if I remember correctly, as I say, it's only been on here this morning for me. 
Uh, but if I go to LFO, where is it? Destination. So you can now actually add LFO to either the voice volume or to the oscillator or oscillator one or two. So, you know, get a bit more AM, AME kind of stuff going uh, on nice. with that as Thank well, you. which is yeah. quite nice. Now, one thing that I think I'm kind of, I like the most. Oh, by the way, um, the double and, yeah, the double patches now. Before, when you saved a double, it would basically save over the presets that made that double. Ah, uh, yeah. Now they've got their own memory allocation. Oh, so yeah. you've got extra yeah, space that's, for that that's sort That's a of thing. bit 80s, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. But now you've got that. But the thing that I really like about this is the binaural mode. Now, that's a contentious word, is binaural. The definition of binaural means in relation to two ears. Right. And that's pretty much it. Um, and so, you know, some people say, oh, it's not quite the right term. Uh, you know, there's different, there's binaural recording, binaural, there's all different kind of types of binaural. But in real terms, what's going on here is we're taking the eight voices and we're collapsing it into four voices. We're using the same patch on both sides um, and panning them hard left and hard right. So if we, here we go, this is... And what we've got is one half of the synth is, is coming out simultaneously as the other half, but panned hard left and right. It's just the analog differences between yeah. them. That is so you've got different phase relations between the oscillators. You know, you can you do all that sort of stuff. And it just, just gives you a different type of stereo. I mean, it's stereo. Binaural only means stereo, really. And it's just a different type of stereo. So, you know, that's a technique that you could have done before because you could have gone to a double and loaded the same patch yeah, on both sides. But now, in the double page, we've actually got a full bank dedicated to binaural sounds. So that, and again, in itself, is just a really nice little kind of thing. And I, I really like these kind of binaural patches. I have to do that on the summit as well with the, um, uh, with the different part layers that we've got on the summit. So just to have that as a nice, easy access, it's really sweet. So those, I mean, those are some differences. Oh, ah, no, there's a couple of others I should mention. We've got MPE in there now as well. Okay. Um, and we've got three kind of plain MPE in there, which I think you can, I can't remember which one it is, and maybe the Z, the Z axis, you can kind of define what CC value you want to be controlled there. You've got the pressure, of course. Um, and also, it's got polychaining on it as well. And uh, In case you needed more than one in your hand. If you <laughs> So, but the thing is, the show thing me is the that keyboard stand that could yeah. handle two, <laughs> one of those above. Where's another the Jasper? One? Yeah, <laughs> where's the Jasper? But yeah, but the, the the cheeky thing is about that, Nick, is it's polychaining for up to four. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So if you want a thirty-two voice uh, Oberheim, you know, go fill your boots and your and yeah, discount, and your bank account. Vol volume discount, <laughs> volume for discount. Uh, a thirty-two <laughs> voice volume discount, please. <laughs> Maybe so. Yeah, you'd have to speak to your uh, friendly retailer about that, I guess. But um. Yeah, I mean, I know it's quite audacious, but it's there and, you know, I mean, I'm just kind of imagining the, <laughs> the thought of a 32 voice. Yeah, uh, how many know. people will respond to this video by going, oh, great, <laughs> now I can go. And no, I've got yeah. an excuse to go out and buy another three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's pretty much it, really. It was just, as I say, I've not really fully spent a great deal of time on the... Um,